Right, so this is part two for Robert Lang's tutorial, the uh, tarantula tutorial, and I apologise for the weight. So, this is what you should have. And shaping isn't too difficult, but it just can be tricky. So we're just going to draw it out quickly. So we're going to draw the body first, I'll just show you what my plan is. So, body. Then this is the V fangs. And then leg, 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 and then front legs. So the aim is, well these legs should be up more, but if I, I'll, I'll just extend this part down, just to ignore that line. And so we're aiming to make two circles, because we want the body to be completely round. So what we do here is where this leg, the bottom leg, ends. So a bit more. We make a pleat. We make a valley fold here, and then a mountain fold here. So that folds over, and then we can use that pleat to. To fold in this excess paper here and here, and then after that, you'll basically have a roundness to it, and then a roundness here, which they should be about the same size. And then the parts outside the roundness, outside the circle, are excess paper, so it's just a matter of trying to hide it, and then then you can shape the legs coming out of this main body part. So. So this is the dual paper. So hopefully it works better with the glue it didn't the first time. Anyway, so for, we'll focus on these first and then we'll make the pleat. So the back leg, no, the front leg, if you want to fold it in half. Because it's too thick to start covering it about, otherwise you'll get that type of effect. But if you don't want, you want it to be more compact, which makes it more thicker, and then more realistic. So fold it in half, and then you basically make a mountain fold along here to line up with this edge, you know, all the way down to the bottom. I'll extend mine a bit more, and then once you do that, just fold it over. So you've got that, just fold it over. And that leaves you with half the thickness. Next, the exact same on this one. Like so. Now, we want to make a mountain fold from this point down to this point to hide this excess paper. So I'll just open up and fold this part inside. Like so. Then repeat it on this side. Okay, that's came undone, doesn't really matter. Like so, and then fold these parts behind to hide them and then the same on this side oh, I think I've already done it no I've not what have I done here so basically like that and then we'll try and make it neat later on, the top parts. Right, so we've done that, done the front legs, now it's just to make the pleat. Like I said, just where the 
just below where the last leg is, we'll make the valley fold and then quite a big mountain fold because we need quite a lot of gap to actually do this. So then we just hold it because the legs will be coming out like that. So we'll be probably go about here. I'm just making the valley fold lightly, just in case I need to adjust it. Come up a wee bit more. So that looks fine. Again, just make sure it's straight. That's not the one I did. So that's fine. So I've got that. Near enough, just below, below the bottom leg. And then, once you've done that, just fold it over. Just depends how much you want. So that seems fine. So you've got this pleat. <clears throat> and then we can fold behind. So we open up and we push this part in. This part right here. Like so. And then downwards. So really the best place to put the mountain fold is just where the spread sink ends, so just on top of this crease. So I just quickly done that off camera and it seems to be much better. And then valley fold about probably half a centimetre. Oops. So then we've got this. And then the exact same, we just fold in these excess parts. gives you that. So I'll just try to do this on this side. Again, always try and keep it symmetrical. That's what we want. We don't want this part to be in too much and this part to be sticking out. So I'm going to do this side off camera just to make sure it's both the same amount. Right, so you should have this. Now what we want to do is puff out the body. So to make things easier, when we, when we puff it out, we only want to pull out layers from this top half, not the bottom, so the top half only. So we're going to avoid making, pulling out any layers, and this top part is only the bottom we want to focus on. So to help, if you have, then try this. Two wee pegs, and peg it over the pleats here. They don't seem to be too tight. Again, you don't need to do this. Probably won't help, so it seemed like a good idea when I thought of it. So now we just want to try and pull out. Again, same as the brown willow. Pull out the layers. Without undoing this pleat and then the same here so that seems it's going to, that, that looks to be as, as much as I can pull out I'm just going to quickly undo this it's actually the best abdomen I've ever done for this model
then you can, you can pull out a bit more so you get this effect. Yeah, but you risk undoing the pleat here, which I think I've already done. Or you can keep it tight like this, which I'm going to try and go back to and do, because it's much more neater than pulling it a bit more. So I don't really know what I've done wrong there. Okay, then I'll fix this off camera, and then we'll continue. Right, so I'm happy with that. So don't glue right away, just make sure you've got everything in place. And then if you want to glue, you can start gluing, so just holding it in place. So I'm going to uh, leave it till now, I'll leave it till later. I'm going to glue these parts to now. So, unfold this part. And just put glue on the inside here. Fold it back inside. And then the same on this side. Now I'll just start gluing these parts underneath to try and start to get them to hold it in place. Because the neater you get these parts, the much nicer it looks. So I've just glued all this underneath and above and then a wee bit on the edge just on the tip in between here and then the same here and on the other side so that way when you fold it down it gives you that effect which is really neat right so we're going to do these now we're going to do the front ones so for the oops. for the front legs from looking at it from this angle, if we were to shape them, uh, you can either have, have them you can have them two, two different ways. So you can have it come out first, which is the wee bit here, and then simply down and then leg. Or you can have it come out halfway, add a wee crimp. So it comes up, and then down, down, oh, kind of give it like that. So this this one touches the ground, this one doesn't. So I'm going to go for this one because I, I honestly think it looks much nicer. So you've already got the other eight touching the ground, so why not have these two not touching? So that's my plan. So now, right. So again, we'll just. We'll unfold it and glue it all as flat as possible and then we'll put it back in position. So again, just take your time. I'll do one and then you can do the I'll do the other one off camera. Just to save time. So I'll just pack it with glue in between all the layers. And again, don't be too messy. Although you probably won't see it in the way, but just in case. And don't add too much as well. I always like to start pouring out the sides. Thank you. 
I forgot to say that when you shape the abdomen, there's also an extra layer in here that you could probably pull out. So I don't want to do this just in case it ruins it, but again, when you do your test fold, if you've done a test fold, try it, shape it the way I've done it, and then pull this layer out, because you, you, you could probably even, if you could pull that all the way out, you could fold it around, and then tuck this part inside, and you've got a completely 3D abdomen. So that's always a thing to try, if you want to. Yeah, I'll fix that later. Right, so. That's the thing when shaping insects, there's no right or wrong way, there's always a way that it's entirely up to you how you want to shape it. You can shape it the way the designer made it, or go freestyle and give it your own twist, which I, I do normally do. If it does come out, just quickly squeeze it out, wipe away. And I've pegged the legs just to hold them in place, they were flying about earlier. So the first half of this tutorial will basically be the body, the top body, and then the legs will be the last part. Which I'll probably show one leg and then you can do the rest because it is the exact same process for all eight. Again, every time you add glue in between a layer, compress it all together so it really holds its shape. So nothing sort of really sticks. Don't do like 15 at a time and then and then try and stick together because sometimes they'll automatically stick when you move on to the next one and that, that one could be wrong the way it's stuck. So by the time you try and fix it, you've already you're too late. So I'm just squeezing. Trying to get any excess out, which doesn't look like it. So these last two ones. I'm not going to go too far down here, just in case, because I probably need to fix this as well. So you can see the difference, look how thin it is. All the layers are stuck. So once you've glued it, good tip is to try and open it up. So see, I've already missed this one. So don't just assume you've got all of them. Try and open it up gently, and if any parts open up, you know you've missed a bit. So, there we go, that's all the right one glued. Quickly do the left one and then we'll shape them. I 
but I'll, I'll do it off camera. Right, so now that both sides are glued, we've done all the outside, so we could add some on the inside because we want the most contact on paper to paper, not paper to air to paper, which creates, which won't let you get it as thin. So as you see here, we've got this part and this part, two wee gaps. They lead straight. They, they, they lead straight into the leg. So we'll make a wee gap. Open it. I'll put out a bit of glue straight in. And I'm just going to use a wee bit more. Use this to try and push it all the way up. Just to help spread it. And then again just to compress it. And now this paper is the thinnest it's going to be. So you can see a slight difference from this one we've glued to this one we've not. So again the exact same here. And be gentle in case you if you're using something sharp you could rip the paper. And there we go. I can feel a difference already. Right, so abdomen done. I'm not glued that yet, I'll glue that off camera so I can get it perfect. So again to make these refold that remake these creases. So fold it in half, and then fold all these in, and then valley fold. Right, so there is a lot of layers in this paper, so it's trying to hide them all. Same on this side. Enough, something like that. So once we've done that, now this is what I mean by the two legs. So we're going to make it so it doesn't touch the ground. So this one touches, which would be so we'll have the gap down. And that's that. Then we leg. So that that be touching. It's not touch. We need to add a crimp in here so it brings it up. So somewhat just fold it in half each side and then round about here valley fold it and then crimp it I'm actually going to glue it now to start getting it all compressed again I'll do one and then you, you do the other one I'll do it off camera just to save time That is the exact same process I'm going to show you. Oh, that will be for the, the other leg. That's, that should be enough. Quite difficult. 
because it's quite thick. And then again when you do that, fold this in half. So again something like that. And then it's Something like that. Oops. But you just need to do it to hold it in place more. Then make sure it's at an angle like this, not straight up or in more at an angle because we need space to push this part flat down. So if you do the same with this one and then we'll continue. Well, that's the top done. Abdomen is done. I've glued it as well. I've glued it as well just inside these wee parts. Not all of it though. So I can reshape it further later on if I need to legs are done, they're quite thick so I couldn't get the third, the second crimp in because normally this is what I wanted so it comes up, we've got, it comes down, we've got and then it comes down again, the crimps, we don't have this one so I really wanted up, down, down, that, so we've only got one one straight one instead, so if your paper is, th if your paper is thin enough you can add a second one here, but I can't because it's too thick. And then when you've done that, now spread out nicely, remember at an angle, then push this flat down on this mountain fold. So like that. And then for the legs, just onto this side now. We want to fold all of them in half. So again, edge to edge, fold all the layers in half. Oops, just undo that one. And fold it back up. Fold it back up. And then here you go. This is folded in half. Repeat the process for the other six. So we've done the first two. Do it six more times. Three on the left, three on the right. Right, now we have this. So what we want to do is now, I've already done it on this one, so I'll just show you. And I'll just quickly tell you on this one. So open it up. Again, open up the, the half folds and then add the glue in between all these layers on this side and on here and on the inside here in between all the layers and here in between those ones and then glue here and then refold them back in half and then fold it in half so I've done that already here <coughs> So now to shape. So I'm only going to show you this leg. Again, it's the exact same process on the on the other on the other legs. So open up. We're going to need to add the crimp first. So I'm going to just get my sheet and I'll show you. Oh, that's, that's not the pen. It's <laughs> all the brush. Right. So the leg, this is a straight line, I'm going to add a crimp here which will make it go up, 
and then we'll add another one here so it's going to go then up and then straight across and then we'll add one here and then here so it's going to go like this so that's what we're aiming for so three crimps in total and then a wee bit for the foot so one two and three so it's this part done so again fold it in half fold it in half and then just push these parts down then that makes the leg stick oh I'm sorry that that makes the leg stick all the way up now if we add one here one here and then we crimp the foot so open it up cover it I'll just see if that's enough I mean, that should be enough So just about that, and then we'll add the same here. And then the wee leg. And then when you do that, make the crimps, and then start to fold the leg in half just to make it more round you just need to really take your time on shaping the legs so I won't be able to do it all on camera I'll need to do it all off camera probably you don't want them too thin you want them just to be nice and round so it's near it as something like that basically so once you have it like that just fold the edges, keep folding the edges round until you get a nice round shape and then just repeat it for the, the last legs and then you'll have something like this so this is what the finished result that I've got is so we've made the crimps on the legs and we've not fully closed them over like insects to make them super thin we've kept them open and we've curved the left side and right side of each part of the leg to give it that more roundness, that more visual creepy thick leg that tarantula has. Then the front two are still up, they're off the ground, all other eight legs touch the ground. Then we've got the abdomen and I could have probably made it better by bringing in oops, this part making it smaller, probably another half centimetre smaller which would be much better but overall I'm much happy um, I'm very pleased with the final result I'll show you a lot more pictures after this so that is it thank you so much for watching if you have remember to leave a like and subscribe for future tutorials and boy you, you don't want to miss them